Okay, Thank we're you. going to we're going to do this worksheet that I prepare for you. Just hold on. I'm going to the cutting. To topic thirteen and level three activity one go to this we're going to analyze this worksheet we're going to do this worksheet i'm going to go to topic 13 assignment activity one level I am sorry, I don't know if it's just me, but mine is empty. Are you sure? 100%. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you the, the activity is empty. Are you sure? Okay, just one. Mm -hmm. so no hay ningún documento attached. No, this is the document I attached. Let me check again. <laughs> Topic 13, assignment. Or maybe, yeah, Friday 15. Click on this. Mm. Why not? Okay, hold on. I'm going to attach it. I think. Level three of TV of TV. Let me eliminate this one. Delete. Okay, now you can check again the platform. Level three, activity one. Please let me know you can see the activity. Thank you. Okay. Gabby, can you see the worship? Lourdes, can you see the worship? 
Topic 13, go to topic 13, Viviana, Stephanie. Not the board sheet of the... It's activity. It's an activity. Ah. It's an activity. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you the activity that we're going to do. Okay, what kind of a speaking should a student do? Why encourage a student to do a speaking test? Okay, you have to answer these questions. And number one, what should the characteristics of a speaking activity be? Put a thick or a cross in the boxes if you are agree or disagree with the term. Okay, this is according to this is according, if you want, you can uh, download reason for teaching speaking, okay? Open a uh, reason for teaching and speaking, okay? In order to, to do this activity, okay? Which is the odd one out why, okay? Just a long breath. A thrill? Okay, sorry for the interruption. Uh, number two, activity number two. Which is the old one out and why? A role play, a discussion, drill, communication game, or a question, a questionnaire. This is about speaking, speaking, okay? B, a letter, a speech, a poem, a grammar, exercise, a play, and a structure. Which is the old one out. A study, rehearsal, feedback, engagement, or enjoyment. You have to explain why. For example, A, um, Lourdes, A, which is the old one out and why? A role play, discussion, a drill, a communica communication game, or a questionnaire. What is the other one? Questionary. Questionary. It's, it's not about speaking, questionary. Mm -hmm. Questionary is not about speaking. Drill is a speaking discussion, is a speaking communication game, a role play. Okay. Why is, is a questionary is the other one? You have to explain. You can write here, right? For example, A, you put here quest, questionary. The, this activity is different because blah, blah. Okay, you're going to explain, okay? And B and T. But you can add, you can add here the answers, okay? You can put here A, questionnaire in the same part. B, activity, question B. What do a speaking activity look like? What do a speaking activity look like? Look at these two speaking activity for students and give your views of this question. Will, will you feel confident asking them as a teacher why and why not? Okay. What problem, if any, can you anticipate for these activities? 
What would you do before the activities to ensure that they were a success? Okay, you're going to analyze this and answer. You can answer under, you can add another. You can add like this and add. Can you see my screen there, student? Maria, Lourdes? Yes, Maria? Yes. Okay. So, answer uh, the first question. What kind of a speaking should a student do? Then why encourage a student to do a speaking test? And then do it. And then you're going to tell me, okay? So, you have... Maybe 20 minutes. Okay, let me know when you finish the first part, okay? The first part. Activity one.
Okay. Are you ready? Remember that you have to explain. Number two, you have to explain. Ah, number. Uh, what kind of a speaking should a student do? Why encourage students to do speaking task? You have to explain me. Okay, um, question number one, who wants to start? What kind of a speaking should a student do? Gabby, what kind of a speaking should a student do? Gabby. Um, Brian, what kind of a speaking should a student do? Okay, uh, according to uh, the strategies, the speaking should be uh, through a close and activity because it involves and engages the students to participate and feeling free about their thinking and considering the accuracy. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what I think that is the student should do. Should do, okay. Uh, Maria, what kind of a speaking should a student do? What kind of a speaking? I agree with what Brian said because what I wrote is that they should uh, speak like freely, like showing what they know, their knowledge about the language involving grammar, vocabulary and things like that. Uh -huh. Exercises in which they can uh, uh, produce something in, uh, in real life, right? This means that they, uh -huh. they will be able to use words and phrases uh, fluently, right? The more they speak, the more the more the more they uh, practice, the more uh, be better. They become better. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Isabel, what kind of a speaking should a student do? <clears throat> okay, teacher. Um, to develop a speaking uh, skills, students definitely need intensive practice as in uh, learning on the second language. Absolutely think that the students achieve the speaking skill by interacting on the topics or real life situation. Mm -hmm. right. So it is definitely to engage of the activities that promote the speaking in the classroom. I'm according with Brian and Maria. They, the students need uh, day by day to develop the uh, practicing and uh, mm -hmm. uh, asking and answering okay. according to, to the topic that they are uh, studying. Okay. Uh, 
is a verb. Okay. Okay. Very good. And uh, why encourage a student to do a speaking test? Why encourage? Why encourage? Um, Vivian is on here. Oh, or Lourdes, oh, Brian, if you want to participate after yeah. Brian, Viviana, and then Lourdes. Why encourage a student to do a speaking task? Okay, why encourage the students to do a speaking task? Uh, students got to encourage a stu uh, students got to, got to encourage to do to do a speaking task because in that part the students have to learn to talk in many situations and not only focus in being limited to answer just no answers. Yeah, that is important that you don't uh, very good comment, Brian. Try not to ask yes no questions, open questions. You have to make open questions in order to encourage the students. Learn this. Why encourage the student to do a speaking test? Why? Mm, because speaking is the most important skill in order to communicate with others. And also uh, through speaking, they can realize by themselves if they are able to That's practice right. what they have learned or if they are able to communicate. Mm -hmm. A student feel tremendous satisfaction when they notice that they are producing the language because they have a uh, they are studying, for example, in a program, and then if they have studied, if they have practiced the grammar, the writing, they, they, they can produce the language. They feel tremendous uh, satisfaction uh, when they speak. Uh, what should the characteristics of the speaking activity be? Put a thick or a cross in the boxes if you are agree or disagree. Uh, Viviana, could you please participate in the chat or okay and no I I have my computer I have a computer right now. Oh okay. Okay. Um the first one I disagree. It says it should be a study exercise. I disagree because uh, as teachers, we have to give students a practice of language items, vocabulary, and uh, to develop a student's ability to speak fluently and interactively. Mm -hmm. You put a cross. Yes, a cross. I disagree. Okay, very good. It should, it should be a study exercise? No, no. Maybe at the beginning you can uh, have them memorize certain words, but uh, remember that you have, have them to practice something that they, they can pr produce in the real life, real life. So it's not a study exercise. Um, Stephanie, it should be an active exercise. The, uh, the, this is the characteristic of a speaking activity. What should the characteristic of a speaking activity be? It should be an activated exercise. Stephanie? Did you put a cross or did you put a check? Uh, tick, I think. What did you put a tick? Because in, in in that part, the students will produce or apply the grammar and vocabulary when they they will they will speak or talk about any topic. Yeah, yeah. You put a check. It should be an activated exercise. For example, if you are a you are teaching, for example, a, the topic of go camping maybe you can plan with your kids go to the park and put uh, on on the ground some uh, food and uh, you can share the food with your student and have them speak that is an activated exercise it's an activated exercise the speaking part is an activated exercise you have to remember that 
Uh, you have to encourage your student, encourage your student to speak. Okay. Um, Maria, uh, it should be engaged student? Of course. Of course, you put a tick. Okay. Everything that you do with your student in this in this speaking part, you have to find very dynamic exercises or dynamic games with them. Okay, so remember that it's an engage that is engage. You have to motivate your student. It should involve everyone. Involve everyone. Uh, I think yes. Mm -hmm. Everyone have to be involved in speaking in this speaking part of your class. It should practice a specific language structure. Mm -hmm. If you agree. For me, it's an X because when you speak, you don't like. No tomas en cuenta la gramática que estás usando. Solo fluye. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's how it works. Uh -huh. You put a X, right? Remember that yes. when when they are speaking, so you're, don't don't check accuracy. You have to check only. Maybe some of your students. Uh, sometimes your student uh, correct themselves when they are uh, talking, right? When they are speaking, some students ah, oh, and they they repeat the phrase, for example, have them to repeat. Okay, a student should concentrate on the accuracy or what they are saying. Did you put a cross or a check? Uh, Lourdes? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. No, I cross. Aha. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. A, a student should concentrate on the accuracy. No. Or what they are saying, no. It's something about fluence. Right? Don't check. The grammar when they are obviously you have to notice what are they doing right what they are doing if they they have problems when they are speaking obviously you have to take note okay this student have this problem they don't put in order their ideas yet then you can uh, send homeworks you can set a uh, homework structures or grammar structures, right? In order that they can produce better the language. Okay, but don't correct the accuracy. Which is the odd one out? Gabby, are you there? Knock, knock. The last one. <laughs> or Gabby's not here. Brian. Which is all the other one out, and why? Letter A. In the number in letter A. Letter A. Uh -huh. Which is the the other one? Uh, a questionnaire. Questionnaire. Why questionnaire? What do you say questionnaire? Uh, questionnaire is not uh, consider. Uh, in my case, I don't consider in a, a part of for to uh, speaking. For speaking, yeah, it's not a strategy to uh, to consider for the speaking because the other ones is like uh, give have that part in that in in, the, in engage or involve the student to participate. But a questionnaire is not uh, at all. Uh, Could be uh, a, a writing a, a writing. We yeah. are writing. It's more, it's more for writing. writing yes. Yeah. Thank you. Writing extract. B. Isabel. A letter, a speech, a poem, a gra grammar exercise, a play extract. Which is the uh, old one out?
Mm, I think so. Uh, grammar exercise. Uh -huh. Maybe. Speech. A letter, a speech, a poem, a play, a strap. Because a letter, a speech, a poem, a play, a strap, uh, connect with the same meaning. But the grammar exercise is a different activity, I think. Mm -hmm. gra gra grammar exercise. A letter, they can create a letter, a speech, a poem, gra well, grammar exercise, okay? Letter C, letter C, um, Maria, letter C. Study. A study, rehearsal, feedback, engagement, and enjoyment. According to me, it's a study. Mm -hmm. A study. Because a student, a student uh, can give feedback when they are participating, when they are, uh, for example, when they are creating something, when they are creating, for example, a story, on the when you have them to speak in groups, they they can give feedback to to their classmates. So that is a part of the speaking to a study. It's not rehearsal, sort of feedback, engagement, enjoyment. Okay, so that is not part of uh, speaking. And. What do a speaking activities look like? What do a speaking I don't know if you have finished this part. Have you read this? Mm, okay. Yet. Okay, we're going to read this and then you're going to answer. We're going to read the intermediate elementary and yeah, we're going to read. Look at these two speaking activities for a student and give your views of this question. Intermediate, role play, working pairs, student A, you are happy vegetarian, student B, you are happy meat eater. You have five minutes to try to convince each other that you, your way of thinking is the right one. Okay? This kind of exercise with we saw the the last uh, last Monday, I remember. Uh, element elementary work in pairs. You elementary. You were at the last luggage. You were at the last luggage office at a near. Try to identify your partner's suitcase from the suitcase below. Ask about color, size, and material. A student B, you are at the airport at, at an air, airport and can't find your suitcase store to pay up uh, to, to page 120. Okay, so this is uh, this uh, a student B. You are at the last luggage office airport. You can find your suitcase. Describe your suitcase to the airport official. So look at look at these two speaking activities for a student and give your your views on this question. Would you feel confident asking them as a teacher why or why not? What problem, if any, can you anticipate for these activities? What would you do before the activities to ensure that they were a success? So you have to read the activities and answer these questions. Okay.
Do you have a letter A? Who has letter A? Oh, who has letter B? Brian, do you have a letter A? And no, no for the moment. I am thinking about the answer. Okay. Uh, Lourdes, do you have A? Not yet. Are you reading the exercises? Okay, are you reading the exercises? And letter B? What problems, if any, can you anticipate for these activities? Okay, you have to say what problems. Who has one of, of the three questions? Okay. Remember, dear student, that this is a, our first activity for a speaking section, okay, a speaking level. Speaking level for level three, level three. Okay, this is our first activity for level three. We're gonna we're gonna have two activities and the exam. Okay, um, dear students, uh, this can you see the platform on this on the screen? Can you see the platform? Yes, Miss. Okay, you're going to send this activity this. Friday, this Friday, okay, until 11. Okay, you already have done the, the first part, right? You have done this with me, this, 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 and this. And this is the last part. You have to analyze. Would you feel confident asking them as a, as a teacher? These three questions you have to answer. And then you have to send. You have to send, okay? Until Friday. 11, okay? Lourdes is, is clear, Stephanie, Brian? To me, it's clear. Okay. Viviana? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, until Friday. 
until Friday 11, 11, yes, 11, 11 a.m. I'm going to put this 11, 11 p.m., 11 p.m. I'm going to change. Okay. Yes, I'm going to change. Just hold on. I'm going to change. And before we finish the class, please turn on your cameras. I'm going to take the pictures. I'm going to put the attendance and everything. I'm going to change the, I'm going to set the date, Friday, 11 p.m. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. A bit setting. Okay, this is all for today. Uh, have a nice so today's Wednesday. Okay. This is all for today. See you next. See you next Monday. Bye, Miss. Thank you. Okay, thank you, yeah, thank you Miss. Bye bye, Brian. Bye. Thank, thank you, Miss. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye.